A baby and a bush. Egypt was filled with Israelites. The new pharaoh was afraid that the Israelites would become too powerful. So he made them slaves and treated them very badly. <laughs> Pharaoh ordered that all baby Israelite boys had to be killed. One woman put her baby in a basket and hid him by the river's edge. His sister watched him. Pharaoh's daughter was bathing by the river. She found the baby and decided to keep him. His sister offered their mother's help to care for him. Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. Moses grew up. One day, he saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he fled to Midian and was a shepherd for 40 years. Moses was watching his sheep on Mount Horeb. The voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering, Moses. I have chosen you to free them. I can't, Moses cried. I'll help you, God promised. Throw down your staff, Moses did. It turned into a snake. When he picked it up, it was a staff again. Put your hand in your cloak, God said. Moses did. He looked. It was covered with disease. When he did it again, it was healed. Show Pharaoh that, God said. I'm not a good speaker, said Moses. I'll give you the words, God said. Your brother Aaron can help. So Moses went to tell Pharaoh to set the Israelites free. Let my people go. Moses and Aaron told Pharaoh, the God of the Israelites says you must let his people go free. Otherwise, bad things will happen to you. But Pharaoh would not listen. So God turned the water in Egypt into blood. No one could drink it. Then he filled the Egyptian houses with frogs. Frogs were everywhere. Still Pharaoh would not listen. So God filled the skies of Egypt with gnats. They covered the people like dust. Then he struck the land of Egypt with flies. Still, Pharaoh would not listen. So God killed the animals of Egypt. Horses, donkeys, camels, sheep, 
cows and goats all died. Then he covered the Egyptian people with sores. Still Pharaoh would not listen. God sent hail to crush the crops of Egypt. Their barley and flax were destroyed. Then he sent locusts to eat what fruit remained. Still Pharaoh would not listen. So God sent darkness over the land. But again, Pharaoh would not listen. God said, I will kill every firstborn son in Egypt and all the firstborn of the animals. My people must kill a lamb, eat it, and put its blood on their doorposts. I will see the blood and pass over their houses. Those children will not die. You will call this Passover and always remember it. The Israelites obeyed God, but the Egyptian firstborn sons died, even Pharaoh's son. Finally, Pharaoh listened. He let the Israelites go. God makes a way. After Pharaoh's son died in the tenth plague, he let the Israelites leave. They were near the Red Sea when Pharaoh changed his mind again and chased after them. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh's chariots, they were terrified. But God told Moses to raise his staff toward the Red Sea. God sent a strong wind and parted the sea. A dry path appeared, and the Israelites walked straight through the Red Sea. There was a wall of water on each side of them. They arrived safely on the other side. <laughs> Pharaoh and his army followed them into the sea. God told Moses to stretch out his hand. Then the sea rolled back again, and Pharaoh and his army all drowned. God led his people through a wilderness. He fed them and gave them water. They camped at Mount Sinai, where God told Moses to meet him on the mountaintop. Surrounded by fire and smoke, Moses climbed to the top and God came down to meet him. Then, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments on two stone tablets. Don't worship other gods. Don't make idols. Treat my name with respect. Treat the Sabbath day as a special day. Respect your parents. Don't murder. 
Be loyal to your husband or your wife. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't envy people or what they own. Now, the people knew how to obey God.